to Brevis the Temple Tree Investments. In this video, we will talk about the action items that needs to be taken if we think so or is there any action items to be taken in the current market. After the rate hikes by the US Fed, RBI, markets have been bleeding, bringing in lot of fear into the people's mind who are staring at notional losses in their investment portfolios. I am stressing notional because only if we exit from the market we make these losses permanent else if we stay invested as the market comes back this notional loss evaporates or goes away and gives us profit exit. So this first sign of information that we are getting here is stay invested this notional loss will get evaporated soon. So uh, what is the action item that needs to be taken is it there of course when markets are coming down badly as of now we are about 15 percent down from the peak we had in October 2021. So that is kind of putting pressure on people's mind like am, am I losing more, am I not taking some effort to protect this losses or is there any opportunity to make it better. Yes, there are some actionable items today while before going to the actions let us see why we are here and how long we are going to be here. The first question why we are here inflation all of us would have by now experienced inflation uh, just a small example here uh, I think all of us will be knowing about uh, good day biscuits this packet seems to be little bigger if you see here there is a 20 percent extra that they are giving that means whatever we used to get earlier we are getting 20 percent extra but the price which was 10 rupees a pack about 10 plus years back is now 20 rupees. So, you are getting 20 percent extra product by paying 100 percent extra price that is the kind of inflation that has been there. So, what was the 10 rupees pack earlier is now same 10 rupees but see the size of the pack it is 53 grams. What was 100 grams for 10 rupees that is a kg of biscuit was 100 rupees 10 years back today 53 grams for 10 grams sorry 10 rupees. So, same 10 rupees we get a small pack even more worse is this one a very popular brand I myself know about uh, 2010 2008 when I used to buy this biscuit packet 10 double biscuits used to be there there is a cream layer in this 10 double biscuits of bourbon will be there for 10 rupees that is 100 grams today we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 biscuits 50 grams for the same 10 rupees this is a kind of inflation that is going on. So, what is going to impact one is we will consume less like if you are buying 5 packets of biscuit same 5 packets of biscuit only we will be buying because we do not want to spend more. So, that way companies will have the same kind of business while the quantity that they are selling is going to be 50 percent or little more than 50 percent that way there is margin pressure because raw metal costs have gone up significantly oil prices have gone up we know that today petrol prices across the country is above 100. So, I think that is going to become a norm over a period 100 rupees per litre of petrol. So, all these are putting pressure into the economy and companies also which when companies have lesser profits because the raw material increase that they are having is not being able to transfer to the consumers they are bringing down prices uh, bringing down the quantity that is shrinkflation that is what is the term the, now they are talking about. So, this will put pressure on the margins and the profits will come down when profits are less markets will not reward those stocks that is why this big correction is happening and how long this correction is going to stay probably for a longer period while this inflation in prices is not because we started consuming higher have we started consuming like say 5 packets of biscuit now are we taking 10 packets of biscuit no not at all same 5 packets even probably we are coming down on the consumption because what was 100 grams is now become 53 grams right. So, <coughs> while this supply shortage this inflation has come because of supply shortage that is because of war and a lot of sanctions that has been going on across the globe like we had Indonesia stopping their ex exports of palm oil so of course now they have resumed it in a smaller level the moment they stop we stop exporting wheat sugar and steel like that other countries also are stopping this is because when international prices for the commodity goes up obviously the people who are producing it will be selling it the, at the international market to get better margins. So, that way in case there is more and more exports 
local consumption we will not have products to consume that's why governments are becoming cautious and they are stopping exports so like this every country stops exports what will happen there will be a huge shortage of raw material as of today oil prices edible oil sunflower oil and all the edible oils have crossed 250 rupees it's because ukraine sunflower oil we are more dependent on ukraine ukraine has stopped total export is stopped from ukraine that's what is bringing pressure of course now because of supply resumption there are some cutting down in prices that's been happening so this war situation we cannot expect it to reverse overnight already it is about close to 4 months now probably it can get stretched for at least another 9 to 12 months even if war stops getting back to normal will take at least 9 to 12 months so this stage of tightness in the economy is going to stay in the market for at least 9 to 12 months well this is going to give us a huge advantage as investors okay and again before going to what is advantage prior to this tightness in the market we have gone up 18 months so whatever goes up has to come down if it has taken 18 months to go up at least it will take the same amount of time to settle down and then go up as of now we are only about 9 months in the correction phase so in keeping that in mind also another 8 to 9 months we have to experience a correction phase and this is how the markets function it goes up significantly holds at that place and then again goes up so now coming to the advantages there are four wonderful advantages that are there in the current market because of this correction let's talk about the points that is advantage four advantages one by one price bounce all of us know this situation that is there in the market we will obviously see the prices coming up what has gone up will not stay there already we are seeing the edible oil prices are coming down like that other products also will start coming down income will go up and somewhere it, at the top it will get adjusted so when prices are likely to come up uh, so whatever price have gone up is going to come down that will push the prices in the market up so we know for sure market is going to go up from here that gives an opportunity to buy the market cheaper now so as of now since the market is down 15% that means we get the market cheaper by 15% so next when it is going up you will make better profits like today sensex is at 50000 plus and it is expected to reach 1 lakh by the turn of the decade that means straight away 100% profits on the investments made at current levels second option is long rest i talked about another 9 to 12 months of sideways consolidation or tightness in the market this gives us an edge like we need not be hurrying to buy the market at current price you can stretch it like say if i want to invest 1 lakh into the market i can put 1 1 lakh each over a 10 month period and i that helps me to put more money in the same price range so that way i can load it in a slower pace be calm and take the advantage of the market that is there now third is lower average now the, since the market has gone into a correction us has already gone into recession whereas india is still not maybe we might touch recession levels while that is little far away from here probably we'll have a bounce from the levels where we are about to reach the recession levels that is on nifty 14000 somewhere around 14000 little less than 14000 will be the recession level for india we are currently at 15000 levels there is a lot of space to go down if we have to go to recession levels so since market is going into a downside correction if we are stretching our investment for a longer period we are having an advantage of getting lower average that itself will help us to have 1 or 2% more returns in the long run remember 2% of additional returns per annum will generate 15% of compounded returns in 5 years time that is third point fourth one is increasing sips for those who are doing sips now you can you are as of now getting extra units like say if suppose you are investing 10000 rupees in your sip because markets are down 15% now we are going to get 15% more units in our account along with that if you are suppose adding another 10% say instead of 10000 we are putting 11000 we get another 10% of the market at lesser prices because this is even if it is going to be staying for a 9 or 12 months time after that it will recover and go up significantly from where we are now so buying now are adding by adding little more to your sip you are going to capture higher units in this down market that will help us multiply our returns faster so four action points all of them are positive ones 
at this moment as the markets are boiling there is a kind of caution that i want to to as a i am experiencing it i want to show it of late there have been lot of disturbances that's been disturbing news that's been coming from the markets that lot of people are committing suicides uh, deaths because of losses in the markets recently in our vicinity we had a young guy age 35 committed suicide yesterday because of losses from the stock market see markets never give losses it is investors who create this losses by their actions if you are investing invest into the right asset and stay invested for a longer period that is where we can make money into the market overnight billionaire short stories never happen and thumb rule for market returns is 2 and 1/2 times the prevailing bank rate if our bank rate is 5% on an average you can expect to make 12 and 1/2% returns from the market beyond that is a stretch more expectation is more inviting to disaster so because lot of people have now ventured into direct investing into the stocks and even cryptocurrencies today cryptocurrencies are down 70% from their peak somebody who had invested into cryptocurrencies like say 10000 rupees in november today the value of that investment is 3 3000 rupees to just get back to the same invested level of 10000 this investment asset should grow 233% whether it will happen we don't know even if it so happens it will take a long long time so you are losing time value on the investment so don't take extrapolated risk today because of options futures people without knowing they are going and putting money into the market even very recent example of lic stock has melted 35% from the issue price it was drummed up and sold that issue even government made a mistake of selling uh, or making the investors gullible here and people were very very sentimental going and buying this kind of stocks with four listed insurance companies in the market lic is going to continuously lose market share so obviously in the long run for such companies to gain an edge and create value to their investment investors is going to be a big ask which may or may not be possible so invest into right businesses and expect i have an expectation that is reality so everybody can make money as our country grows to become the world superpower there has been wide talks across the globe that is our country leaders have been talking about the strengths that our country is having every day we are hearing about news that is so very advantages for our country so enjoy the journey as india progresses to become the world superpower and grow your wealth too along with the country thank you happy investing